Look at it, look at it. It can't even get out, look at it. Now it's going to the window. The window's shut, mate. Oh, birds. So I think, I think it's great that people see how well we're doing. That we, if we let people believe that we own this place, then I think people will take us and more seriously, and me more seriously, and that'd be just a good thing. Hi, welcome to Grapes and Merth's brand new headquarters that we recently acquired in a hostile business acquisition takeover. Great to have you here. <laughs> we totally own it. Um, today we're talking about the Pyrenees because of course we have an event there, Grapes and Mirth, 20th of October. We will be bringing a stellar lineup of comedians who will be joined by a stellar lineup of wines, including these guys, Blue Pyrenees. This is an awesome bottle of wine. It's a sparkling, of course, uh, cool climate, um, and it is an award-winning wine. I can tell you that right now because I read it on the label just there. It's got a heap of them. Some really big ones too, some very important ones but it's actually very, very reasonably priced as well. So top value for money and top quality at the same time. Uh, also from Blue Pyrenees is this one, this is a Cabernet. And I love Cabernet as a variety. I think it's a fantastic variety, but what I really like about this particular one is it's already been salad um, on site for a period of time. So it's ready to go now. You can get this straight in your mouth hole and it'd be good as gold right now, or you can lay it down for a few years and it'll only get better. Um, this is from Taltani. Again, another sparkling. This is a Blanc de Blanc, which just really means it's just made with Chardonnay grapes and there's no pen and wire in there at all. Um, and it is also Method Traditionale, which means it's a traditional method, but the words have been reversed to make you feel stupid. The French do that to us sometimes. Um, this is a vintage one, and it is another great example of sparkling wine that is made in the Pyrenees region. Um, and last but not least, another one here from Taltani. This is an old vine Shiraz. Who doesn't love Shiraz? People that don't like Shiraz. Don't need to talk to them too much. Old vine just simply means the vines have been in the ground for a long time. In fact, these guys are one of the first people to start planting in the region. And this is another great example of a, a cool climate Shiraz. And it shows you that we can grow different, uh, in different areas and grow the same grapes and get different results. So give that one a bit of a go as well. Now, I'd love to stay and talk all day, but I've got to go and talk to um, our architect about how we're building children's crash um, as a facility for our staff at Grapes with Mirth, proprietary limited headquarters, which is expanding quite rapidly. And it's a bit like, it's a bit like Google now, I'd say, or Facebook, which is bigger. Okay. <laughs>